Thank you, Rick and Nancy. I love that song, Take the Name of Jesus With You. And uh, it's among my top songs. It's nowhere near Victory in Jesus. But uh, it's up there. I really like that song. John chapter 15 is where we'll be back in tonight. John chapter 15. I told Miss Angie a minute ago that I made a technological oops. And, uh, you know, so I, I've done this before. This is not the first time I've done this. And so, you know, I type my notes up. And then I, I read, I have them here electronically, and I forgot to increase the font size. And it's too late to do that once I've made them a PDF. And so you're just going to hope that I can see my notes, and uh, we'll rely on the Holy Spirit to help me see my notes uh, here as needed tonight. But in John chapter 15 is where we're going to be back in. This morning, if you'll remember, I hope you remember, we soaked our beans, or maybe we didn't. That's really up to you, whatever you want to do in that regards to the beans. But uh, we did talk about the beans this morning. And, but the thing is, whether you soak your beans or whether you don't soak your beans, you're probably going to eat the beans after you cook them. And if you ate the beans, you used a bowl or a plate or something, a fork, a knife, or maybe you didn't need a knife maybe for the beans, but for whatever went with the beans. But then there's something you got to do. You got to wash the dishes. Don't you? Somebody's got to wash the dishes. Unless you ate it with throwaway utensils and plates, and then you throw them away. But we're just going to assume you have to wash the dishes. And that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to wash the dishes. Not literally, but that's, what, that's, that's the, the illustration that we'll look at tonight. Uh, but you've got to hang on for that, because that's going to come uh, later on in the message. But we're going to go from cooking the beans to washing the dishes as we look at John chapter 15, beginning in verse 1. Jesus says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned." If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that, you, your, that my, my joy may remain in you and that your joy may remain full. Let's pray tonight. Father, thank you so much that once again you've given us the opportunity to come here into this place and to look into your word and to study your word. And Father, I hope we don't ever take for granted what a blessing it is to do just that, to gather here in this place with these people and to study more about you. And I pray that we would leave here being drawn closer to you. I pray that when we leave here, we really will take the name of Jesus with us. Father, I pray that you'd bless our time together. May you instruct our hearts in whatever you have for us tonight. And ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, we noted that when we abide in Jesus... And when his word abides in us, there's some things that happen. As we looked at really beginning in verse 4 and moving through, we saw that when we abide